Today is March 23rd and this is an update on my garden. Uh, my seed trays are starting to sprout and they actually they sprouted a few days ago um, and these are the first ones out and they're, they're really doing well. Unfortunately I don't know what they are yet because this is the tray that fell on the ground and all of the labels got mixed up. Who knows? I guess I'll find out once they get a little bigger. In my other containers, everything's really looking great. Um, these guys are growing taller, they look healthy, and then up here on the trellis, the strawberries are getting big and they're starting to turn pink. I'll be eating fresh strawberries pretty soon. And look at how nice these leaves look. Um, I guess my ladybugs are doing good, they're keeping the aphids away. And uh, over here in the other large planter, I've got one really red strawberry uh, that's going to get picked pretty soon. Um, you can just see it on the edge of the planter there. That might be in my breakfast cereal tomorrow. Uh, at the base of the trellis I've got uh, beans and sugar snap peas. Lila's got that little blue pot over there. She planted sunflowers and they're starting to sprout. I've got an early girl tomato which is looking really strong and nice and tall right now. Um, in the front. So that should be my first tomato. Uh, 50 days or so from when it was planted, so I would say around the middle of May um, we should have some tomatoes, maybe early May. Over here on the uh, far side is a zucchini and uh, hopefully that will take off too. Also you can see in the dirt there next to the zucchini there is a little sprout sticking up. That's an onion. Lila planted uh, onions all around the empty spaces in this planter and that's the first one to pop up. Although I see one right here in the front next to the tomato. So now we've got two onions coming up in this planter. Down here we have the herb garden and the kids love the stevia plant. You can just pinch a leaf off and chew it and it's really sweet. Um, next to it is some mint. There's peppermint and some regular mint in here um, there's some oregano and basil chives uh, a couple uh, banana peppers in the corner here only because I didn't have any place else to put those uh, over here I've also got um, another stevia plant some uh, arugula Swiss chard and a couple more there's mint and um, cilantro actually the cilantro is over here I think that's parsley in the corner over here is a brand new uh, milk crate that I found in the garage as I was cleaning it out and I turned that into another onion planter. So I took the rest of my onion bulbs that I didn't have room to plant before and I just dumped them all in there. We'll see what comes up. Uh, this is also an experiment because I ran out of um, my um, organic potting mix that I was using um, it, and also the, um, the compost that I was using. So this is a mixture of earthworm casings, earthworm castings, sorry, um, vermiculite, bone meal, and organic fertilizer. It's just mixed up really well. I would say 50% of it is earthworm ca castings. Um, should be really nutritious. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to drain well enough, um, but I put it in burlap and it, it did drain when I watered it, so we'll see how that goes. So this I just planted today on the 23rd. It'll probably take 10 days or so before we start to see the onions uh, come up through. Well, based on what happened in the other planters, I guess nine days, and we'll start to see them. But if they keep the same schedule. Here on the table are my seed trays, and we've got some growth in some of them. The flowers seem to be taking longer to, to grow. But over here, the radishes are growing like champs, and that's what they're called, champion radishes. Um, so, a lot of growth here. Um, they're even growing outside the little, um, little boxes they're supposed to grow in. So, way to go radishes. And, um, next, we have some purple sprouts coming up. These are, these are going to be red sunflowers, which uh, I can't wait to see when they're full grown. But they're, they're taking off. I've got a, another type of sunflower in the back corner. One, one of them is sprouting through. And that's about all I can see right now. But uh, check out those purple sprouts for those red, reddish sunflowers. 
And, oh, right, yeah, right in the back. There's a. This is a sunflower. Magic Round is what it's called, and these were planted on 314, so nine days ago. Well, that's it for the uh, front yard. Um, I'll check on the backyard. I haven't had as much success back there, mainly because my dogs won't leave the plants alone. So uh, they've, uh, they've set me back a little. Also, the backyard gets so much sun that I'm having a lot of trouble with my hanging tomato uh, plant and my hanging strawberries. They uh, Also, the wind is, is bad back there, too. I think this courtyard is pretty much ideal because it, it gets a mix of sun and shade and is protected from the wind. So... Um, the plants don't dry out as fast and I don't have to constantly be out there watering them so um, I think I'm gonna have much more success in the front here well that's it for today thanks for watching